Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video in Oryx Farm Market. Today we got a special treat. I have my mom here who is the flower mastermind of everything that deals with flowers pretty much. Today we're going to do some, um, what is it, flower pot arranging? Mm -hmm. We're getting ready for Mother's Day. I'm doing pots, planty, uh, patio planters for Mother's Day. Okay. And um, what kind of flowers do we got going on here? Um, right now, I work with the different flowers depending upon what uh, light situations they want. Today, we're going to be doing ones for part sun. Okay. So we're going to be using some osteo daisies, some violas, and some impatience. And we're going to be mixing them into pots. Okay, sounds good. Why don't we dive on into it? This is a, a large patio planter that I'm setting up for full sun. Full sun can be quite a challenge when it comes to container growing. Uh, I do have quite a bit of topsoil in the bottom and now I'm putting quite a bit of smart soil in because this planter is going to have to hold up in the hot sun. The smart soil helps the moisture stay on the potting soil and it also cools the ground. So we're going to mix that in real good. Uh, I also, when you do that with a large planter, you want the soil to be where the roots are going to be, not in the bottom of the pot. You will want to put, um, I've even put pebbles sometimes in very large patio planters to raise it up and then the smart soil right at the ground level, which is usually about six inches from the top is where the roots of your plant are going to be growing. And that's where you want your smart soil so that the moisture is held there. And we're gonna fill this guy up. You don't have to make it to filled to the tippy top of your pot. It's nice to have a little bit of a reservoir because when the plants get big, when you water, it'll stay in that reservoir on the top and go into the ground. Once the plants are big and full, when you water, a lot of times it'll run off or it takes time for it to get into the soil. I'm gonna start with the geranium in the center. And I also like geraniums that are, have a lot of buds on them because they'll fill out real quick in those. I'm gonna put him right in the center. And then I have New Guinea Impatience, which are all the fad. And I have three of them. And I'm going to again do, even though this is a four, has four, you know, square, I'm still going to do a triangle where I'm going to put one here and one here. Now, I'm also going to use these. These are very decorative and I love them. Uh, it's a certain kind of coley. And I'm gonna put one in this corner here. Okay, now I'm gonna put some of these really fragrant petunias in. I'm gonna put them kind of on the corners. Oh. Now I'm going to just stick a little Elysium in just to accent it off a little bit. Um, when you do planting your planters, I like textures and colors. Different textures, which would be the shapes of your leaves or how the leaves grow and different colors. And there we have a hot sun patio planter. The key to setting up a successful patio planter is how we do our soil. 
As you can see, this is a bowl, 12 inch bowl, and we have a little bit of potting soil in the bottom. Now I'm going to put what we refer to as smart soil. And I don't put a whole lot, but I put a decent amount. And all that is is very fine, sifted, very good topsoil. And I'm going to mix that into the bottom of this patio planter. Then I'm going to put some more potting soil in. And that's our first bowl. Now you see there's a little bit of gaps, but within a day or two, it'll fill that out very, very pretty. I, I like to groom it in a day or so because when you repot, a lot of the blooms that are full will wither. So it was good within a day or two to, to, groom, to groom your plants and they'll <laughs> fill out. And this plant will last all summer. Uh, this is an oval bowl. And we're going to set it up the same way with a little bit of potting soil. Now this one we're going to do a little different. Uh, we're going to put different flowers in it. Uh, these flowers will handle a little bit more sun. So if your patio has a little bit more sun, this planter would be perfect for you. I'm going to start in the center with the sun coli, which is my favorite because I remember my grandmother having coles, and they were in every color and every design, and I just loved them. And then I'm going to put wax begonias like uh, one on one side, one on the other. And then I'm gonna take some of these purple veins, which are very fragrant petunias, and I'm going to put them here. And then I'm going to take some white alyssum and fill the hole here, because there's a, yeah. and on the other side over here, And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of um, impatients, and I like these because they complement the, and I'm just going to stick them in where we seem to have openings. And what will happen even though I like the orange impatients because they handle the sun and I'm working with more of a sun item. And I just kind of put them in where we have holes and they, they'll take whatever and they'll even go underneath if the sun is kind of harsh. And there we have an oval plant. Within a day or two that'll all fill out very beautifully. Alright, so there you go. There's some flower arranging. These look really pretty. Now when are these going to like fully like overflow? Um, well, they just continue to grow all summer long. Um, they'll get fuller and fuller. Uh, what I usually tell people is, if you see something you don't like about the planter, if some, one thing is going down, or pick at it, you know, and don't be afraid. One thing might take over another, but you know, it's gonna fill out and stay pretty. Um, okay. Don't forget to water it. Don't go on vacation and put it in the garage. Of course. Well, these are all beautiful, and I want to thank you for joining us today, for giving us a tutorial. Hopefully, we'll get some more of you in the future, I'm sure. And that's all we have, so thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Bye-bye.
How about at the beginning of this video where I was like, oh, does my hair look okay? <laughs>